What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We've got me and Adam back out here today hunting some public land. It's been a pretty big struggle. It's about 11 o'clock in the afternoon and we just spotted a long beard. We're going to try to make a big loop around him and cut him off. I think he might have hens with him. Let's see what happens. So right after I cut the camera off, a woodpecker went off and he gobbled. He's in the same spot that he was. But we, we made a big loop, got in front of him, but he's in the same spot. So we're gonna try to retract some of our steps. And we've got the high ground on him. But he might have a hen with him. I've just been calling softly. Well, if y'all are still watching, you can see we got the bird. I'm sure y'all are wondering where the footage is. <laughs> I totally failed on that point, but uh, I'll kind of give y'all a recap. So we ended up walking up the ridge and the turkey met Adam eye to eye, probably at about, what, 75 yards? 75, 80 yards, yeah. Stared right at him, we froze. And then he just kind of lost all color in his head, turned around, tucked his wings, and kind of walked off a little bit down the ridge. So what we ended up doing was we backed off the ridge, walked all the way around the spine of the ridge, and then got into the bottom where the uh, turkey was hanging out, where we originally saw him from the road. And sat down, kind of got quiet for a second. And then, um, did we hear him gobble again before we called? No, we'd only heard him gobble uh, at one time when the woodpecker sounded off before we That's right. uh, ran into him. Yeah. So um, I called a couple times, just right off the bat, and he didn't gobble. Not gonna lie, we we're feeling pretty uh, beat up. I mean, these these turkeys have been mm, terrible to us. The ones we could find. <laughs> yeah, the, the, we hadn't found the couple. struggle was real. We couldn't find any turkeys, and a lot of the area that we normally hunt had been recently burned, like two days prior, if that. It's still smoking. Yeah, it's still smoldering and everything. So um, we just went silent. I took the camera off the tripod, put it in my lap, because I was kind of semi in the sun from where I thought maybe the turkey would come from if he came in. And gave it probably 15 20 minutes about to call it quits it's like the last final yelp i go no 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 and it goes pow hammers about 200 yards something yeah. like that but he's in the same spot where we originally struck him and i really didn't think much of it i was like this turkey's just gonna hang out there you know and uh from where i was sitting I didn't have the greatest view at the bottom. I, I was probably 20 yards away from Adam. And well, you shifted, right? Yeah, I, well, it was probably five, five to 10 minutes after you called. And we both were hearing something up on that ridge up to your left. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and then I noticed him about 100 yards straight across the bottom in the shadows. I just saw a silhouette going through, went behind a big tree, and I made a shift so I could shoot to the right more. And we're also, I'm kind of got a big ridge right behind me. So there's almost a wall right behind me, a little creek right there behind the tree I was sitting against. And uh, he was going from left to right, kind of angling, quartering to us a little bit. And uh, every time he'd go behind a tree, he'd go more right. I'd have to shift more, shift more. I assumed he probably heard me shifting in the leaves because <laughs> I'm not a petite fella. So I just assumed he, he knew something was up. Turkey kept angling and then he got not quite even with us and started coming right to me. Uh, he'd kind of peck along and he'd look up and stare right where he knew that call had came from. And he got, came out and opened it about 45, 50 yards and let him keep coming. And then he got up and had some thick stuff in between us. And I don't know, what was he, 20, 20, 25 yards yeah, 25 maybe? 25 tops. He, uh, he came out behind a big tree with a bunch of briars underneath it. And as soon as he passed that, uh, that's when I yelped at him. <laughs> and that's when this, this is kind of funny from his, his point of view. So yeah, I am like, I'm totally focused on the opposite direction that this turkey's coming in from. Up the ridge, I'm here, we're both hearing this little like and I'm the way we're sitting, the ridge he's talking about is to the left. Meanwhile, the turkeys do right of oh, yeah, like, yeah. well, this medium right there. of where he's sitting. So I, I'm locked in on this ridge wishing that I had a gun in my hands. Cause I'm like, uh, that's totally in range for me. I was like, gobbler's about to be right there. And yeah, that's whenever I heard Adam go, yow, yow, yow. and then like a million thoughts went through my mind at that moment. And I'm like, Oh no! <laughs> and then I mean, a split second later, boom! And I immediately whip my head around and see old boy. I see his tail fan just flop over and his wings pop, pop, pop. And uh, I think I got the rest on video. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, it is it is a great hunt. Sorry I couldn't. Uh, get the kill shot on film but i mean that's we're real hunters you know we're not fancy cameramen and, and whatnot but uh after oh yeah don't leave that <laughs> out that goes right in along with the, the other hunt we had this year oh my goodness so after the hunt we're sitting there reminiscing and everything sitting up against the tree uh that adam was sitting on and if, if y'all haven't watched the opening day video of Adam's Hill Country Gobbler. Go ahead and pause this video and watch that one. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description below because that'll just kind of make this last part funnier. But so we're sitting there and I hear the leaves just barely to my left. Just kind of and I'm like I just totally blur out whatever Adam's talking about and I'm like oh my gosh there's a snake right here and I can't see anything but I, I can pinpoint the sound and there's a little limb laying down on the ground and <laughs> oh man oh, that uh, copperhead uh, poked his head up I mean, right over that limb from me to the camera to you I mean just a few feet away and I immediately just somersault up off the tree and I'm like, ah, there's a copperhead right here. That was the to most us. amazing like <laughs> movement I've ever seen from a human being. It was literally like he pushed himself up with his butt muscles and went straight from his butt to his feet and there was no hands involved. <laughs> Look my no hands. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, we've had some some bad run ins with uh, some snakes. I mean the first four close calls that I can think of, of me getting bit or us getting bit or something like that, is with this guy. I mean, the well, the first time you went down to the lease, yeah, you went to go flip the light off and you stepped over one coiled up, mm. and I walked up behind <laughs> him. He thought I was messing with you the whole time. Yeah. But I guess gonna close out the video. We figured, uh, kind of 
do a little back porch recap for you. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we've got a couple more hunts planned here in the future. So hopefully I can uh, fill my tag here out of in Oklahoma. So we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care. Thank y'all for watching.